my channel. If you're new, my name is Kristen. Today I'm going to be doing some fall DIYs. I do want to thank Arteza for sponsoring this video today. They sent me some really cool stuff. They have new metallic paints. I got some really cool chalkboards. I cannot wait for you guys to see them. If this is your first video and you have never watched my videos before, I use Arteza products all the time. I love them. Their paint covers so well. They have high quality vinyls. So if you guys have a Cricut or a Silhouette, you will be shocked about how amazing it is um, for super inexpensive. Uh, so yeah, you guys, links in the description box below to check out Arteza. So if you guys need to get some Halloween crafting done, fall crafting done, definitely recommend to shop their website. Also, I have a 10% off coupon code. So if you guys do purchase anything, you'll get 10% off. So uh, yeah, let's jump in to these fall DIYs. Can we be friends again? The first DIY I'll be using the acrylic colors by Arteza and this is the pearl papaya orange color and it is metallic and it is super super pretty and I just used some scrap wood from my garage and I sanded them down and I'm painting both sides of orange. I give up. I know how this ends. Might sound strange. Next, I just went in with my Silhouette Cameo and cut out letters. This is with the Arteza Black Matte Vinyl. Their vinyl is one of my favorites. It's really inexpensive and you get 50 sheets of this, which is a really good deal. And it's sheets instead of rolls, so it just comes out really, really well and it's just easy to use. And then I'm just putting an F, an A, and an L, and an L to write out fall on these scrap pieces of wood. The truth. And then I'm using these little wood pieces from the Dollar Tree and just taking my hot glue gun and gluing them right to the tops to make them look more like pumpkins. And I'm using the Sherbonder Dual Temp Glue Gun. I know some people do ask which one I use and I will link that for you guys in the description box as well if you guys want to check that out. Uh, but yeah, this is all I'm doing. I am like the really tall ones. I know they have chunky wood pieces at the Dollar Tree, but these are my favorite. I actually picked these up around the springtime. I don't know if they still have them around right now. And then I'm just using some leaves from the Dollar Tree. This just came in a big bag and I had a few left over from different DIYs and I'm just going to be gluing those to the top. And then once that is all done, I'm just going to be gluing all of the wood pieces together. You could, this is like the step you don't really have to do, but I wanted them all together so I could move it around without having to use like four wood pieces. And it does stand up a lot better for some reason when they are all glued together, but this is one of my favorite things. This was super fast and easy. I did this all in one day. We work our way through the heartache. And then we're back where we started. We've gone full circle again. But that's what we do. using this chalkboard from Arteza. I love these. They are super distressed and rustic. They look like a farmhouse uh, type decor and I just love them. And you get a five pack. So I think these would be also really great for Christmas gifts. So I plan on doing some Christmas gifts with these as well. So just wait until I do some of those. Uh, I just did I Am Thankful For. This was a printable I purchased off of the Silhouette Studio. And I am using the matte white vinyl from Arteza. And like I said, I just really like their vinyl because it comes in sheets. And then I loved the I am thankful for because at the bottom you can write whatever you want. You can change it up daily. You could have your kids do this. I think this is just a really cute piece and I just have this in my kitchen. I'm 
these little black canvases. These are in a 5x7. And then I am also going to be using these little border stickers from Dollar Tree. And this is the Iron On Heat Vinyl from Arteza. And this is the gold. You get gold and silver in this package. But I love the gold because it is such like a nice little fall color. And I just cut out fall and a pumpkin. And this was actually in the Cricut Design Space. These are already pre-made and I just mirrored the image and then I'm going to be ironing these on. So you can definitely iron on with like canvas, wood. The possibilities are seriously endless when you do iron on vinyl. I love using them. And then I am just using my Cricut Easy Press. And then once these are completely cooled down, I just peel the little transfer tape off. And look how stinking cute these are. So I thought that was really cool and then once that was done I just added on the stickers from the Dollar Tree and that is it with this DIY. This was really fun to do and really easy and I just love doing different things especially like with the iron on. It's nice when I can actually figure out a DIY to do with that besides t-shirts or something so I thought this was super cool. Last DIY, I'll be using this leaf. This is from the Dollar Tree this year. It's just a little wooden piece. And this Arteza paint in the pearl olive green. And the pearl just means it's like more metallic, which that's really what I liked for these DIYs. It just made the leaf pop just more than using a plain olive green color. Loved the way this looked on a piece of wood. And you only need one coat, so a little bit goes a long way with Arteza paint. Again, I just used the white matte vinyl, and this is also a printable or a SVG. This is from my The Silhouette Studio. I do go back and forth to the Silhouette and the Cricut just because they have different things that I like per each of them. Um, with the Cricut, it's just a little bit easier to use, so that's why I use the iron on for the Cricut. Once this was done, I just took some Waverly Wax and Antique and it distressed the sides and kind of, I like the way this looks. It looks kind of old and um, rustic and then it also kind of looks like when the leaves have been on the ground for a while and they start to kind of like crumble. So I don't know, I why did I even say that? Um, but I like the way this looks. It just kind of gives it just a little bit more than just everything super, super plain. And then now I just have this wreath form. This is from either a grad sale or a thrift store. And I just reuse this one multiple times. I never glue anything to this one. I probably use this three or four times in different DIYs because I love switching wreaths up. This eucalyptus was 97 cents from Walmart. And I'm using about eight of these. And then I've, like I said, I already had the wreath form. So this is actually under 10 bucks to make for me, which is a super killer deal, especially since you buy a few of these eucalyptus, but you can always reuse them. So really like you can make 100 DIYs if you get sick of using this. These little pumpkins I had from a different DIY as well and I'm just reusing these just to make it just a little bit more fall and those pumpkins were from Dollar Tree. And then now I'm just using some twine to tie the leaf in and that is it for this. All right, you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And like I said, I will leave links in the description box below so you guys want to check out Arteza. There will also be a 10% off coupon code for you to use. Uh, but yeah, I, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, I would love if you consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!
always do.